about the structures. Okay. When I say structures, you all should be aware that we have a set of general structures. Okay. In fact, general structures, if I really want to make it very clean, very broad, I will just say there are two types. Okay. The first one is a structure inspired by the mark scheme. Okay. And I always say, oh, part A, to get level 3, you just need content and context. Remember? And then, of course, I say, oh, content, there are a few things, right? Definitions, diagrams, explanations, and your examples. Okay. So this is like a checklist that you go through before you start writing. Context, very often, you are looking at what is mentioned in the preamble. How do you use it? Is there anything to do with some trend? If they tell you growth has increased by 5%, or growth has slowed down, you have to interpret these things correctly. Like slow down, you don't start talking about recession. Lah. A slow down is not a recession. Okay? Then, Singapore context. Okay, the last one, if you see it, you see it. You don't see it, it's okay. The last one is, did the question ask you to compare domestic versus external factors? Okay? So this is very standard. I will not talk more about this. Okay. So part A, I'm always looking through these two things. Huh? Then part B, I said before, right? Still these two things come in. But you have to add in balance. You need two sides, so-called an antithesis. And you need evaluation. And I've given you um, tips on how to write a synthesis, how to challenge your analysis, right? So some things that should still be residing in your mind now are, oh, synthesis means a stand, means I cannot sit on the fence, right? And how do you write your stand? Well, you can start thinking of adding the word most to your conclusion, okay? If you don't need to add the word most to write your stand, good for you, right? But if you find that, wow, I'm not sure if I'm still sitting on the fence, then you just See how you can add MOST to your synthesis, right? And you can also talk about, uh, um, so this is about significance of a point. You can talk about long run versus short run analysis. You can also highlight, oh, we need a combination of factors, right? Then this one is more challenging your analysis. So this is general. And there's another one that's general, not so much based on mark scheme, but it's really for questions which are decision making. Discuss the factors that a government considers before deciding whether to regulate a monopoly. Or factors that a firm de uh, considers before deciding whether to merge. This is UBCs, right? So for such questions, you can run through the list here, unintended consequences, benefits, costs, and constraints. Okay. So these are the general structures that are always going to be applicable. All right. So even if you don't memorize my topical ones, at least bring this to the exams with you. Okay. The topical ones, I will list out not for the purpose of revising them. Okay. I'm going to list them out more for you to see which ones you're not sure of. Then you let me know. Then what will I do? I'll share a video with you and you watch it at home. Okay. Topical ones for demand and supply impact on the market. I have shortened it. Right? I have made this even more succinct. In my book, I had a structure, people. But now, I just call it ABC332 because I think students resonate with this. Okay? Then, under market failure, there is a very useful one. Okay? If they ask you for the appropriateness of a certain policy, of one policy to deal with a problem, okay? I gave you the Chloe structure. Chloe is uh, in my book, I think it's page 90 or something, the thick one. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Then market structure, I had cadet XED. You use cadet XED when you want to check whether a firm uh, is desirable. Okay. So this is present in the, I have the video for this as well. For national income, I gave you CCA. It's in my book also, you can find it. Okay, uh, might as well I'll tell you the page. Huh? CCA is a uh, where is it? Yeah, CCA is one one three in the book. Okay. I also have a GDV structure. GDV, I have a video. I don't really have it in the book. Okay. GDV is when they ask you how something affects standards of living. You can use this. Macro goals and macro policies. I will just remind you, please study the trade offs in my book. Under trade offs, I have T E E. Right? I think it's page 166. And finally, international econs. I had more over here, right? I had structures like WRGD, uh, GTRP, RJC, 432. Okay, this is for protectionism. This is for protectionism. This is for globalization. This is for patterns of trade, right? So if you feel overwhelmed already, uh, the first 10 minutes okay never mind the video is there right and that's it in terms of key structures that will help you okay or that might have helped already okay. so i can tell you what's happening now we have all these structures right in the next few lessons before we end off okay we'll be going through this year's prelims why you are going to see clustering of questions. You'll probably see a lot of questions on decision making. You'll probably see a pocket of questions on rational behavior. Right? So contestability, you will see the odd few questions, right? These are not to be unexpected. Or questions on inclusive growth, sustainable growth. And then we'll use the structures we've gone through before to refine, refine and also to revise. Okay? So to do that, I'll wait for the other printing papers to be ready. But in the meantime, this is to keep you happy for the time being. Okay. So today there are uh, the handouts here. The first sheet is the ACJC uh, prelim paper. Who is not done with the prelims yet? Oh, okay. Some of you. So I made a deliberate attempt to go through a paper that doesn't uh, affect any of your mindsets. <laughs> okay, the other one is the RI one, uh, touch and go. Today we are not spending so much time on it. Okay. So the first thing that I think will help us go back on track, huh? put ourselves back on track, okay. is how you choose your questions, right? So when you choose questions, there will